Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be learning all about how to lace a corset with the bunny ears lacing method and then I will go ahead and show you how to put the corset on and lace yourself up in it. The bunny ears lacing method is the most common method of lacing for all corsets with a split busk opening in the front and it is the method that I recommend for all beginner corset wearers because it's the easiest to lace yourself up into. These instructions are for you if you have either purchased a corset or made your own and you're wondering how to lace it up and put it on yourself. I'm here to help. Now, if you happen to have a corset that does not have a split busk opening in the front and you would still like to use this lacing method, you definitely can, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to need to use honestly probably about double the length of lacing that I'm going to recommend for a corset with an open front. And that is because you need it to get nice and loose so you can be able to slip it on and off over your head. And before we jump into it, I'd just like to mention that if you want to learn more about corset making for a beginner, I have an online course called Victorian Custom Corset Making and it's linked in the description. It gives a total beginner everything they need to know to make their own corset from start to finish and it includes one year of instructor's support. So definitely check that out if you're interested in corset making. Without further ado, let's jump into how to lace up your corset. So the type of lacing you're going to use is going to differ. There's many different kinds, but I recommend if you're a beginner using something nice and slippery like this ribbon or like a smooth nylon shoelace. And I am using about eight meters. We're going to be using a method that I like to call double X lacing, and you'll see why in a moment. But first, I'm just holding the two ends of the lacing together so I can find that center point of the lacing. And so now that I have that, I'm going back to one of those ends and I'm pulling it through the very top hole from the inside of the corset to the outside. And this is very important because we want that very top pass to be more hidden on the underside of the corset. And then I'm going to pull on both ends equally until that center point of the lacing that we found earlier is right in the center of the corset like this. And now I'm going all the way back to one of the ends and I'm doing a diagonal pass down from the outside this time to the inside of the corset. And this will make part of our first X of lacing. And now for the second half, doing the exact same thing, going from the outside of the corset to the inside, pulling it all the way through. And now we have our very first X of the lacing. And this X is going to be on the outside of the corset, just like this. So now our second X is going to be on the underside of the corset. So we're going from the inside of the corset to the outside this time. So the exact opposite of what we did for our first X. There's our first pass. Now I'm finding the other end and pulling it through in the exact same way. And this time you can see that since I'm using ribbon, I'm running it through my fingers to keep the pass as flat and non-twisted as possible. And there are our two X's. This is why I like to call it the double X method. There's one X on the outside of the corset and the second is on the underside. So now we're going to learn about how to create our bunny ears. We will have created our double X's going all the way down until we get to the waist level of the corset. You will be able to decide where the waist level is based on either if you have waist tape in your corset or if you have two eyelets that are set close together at the waist like I do, or you can just look at where the corset is the narrowest. So this time, we're not going to be beginning our bunny ear from the outside to the inside. We're going to begin from the inside to the outside. That's how we're setting up our bunny ear. So my bunny ears are going to be taking place right at these two eyelets that are close together. And I'm beginning it with my lacing coming out to the outside of the corset because our bunny ears will be on the outside. So even though that wasn't what I was set up to do based on the previous pattern, I had to change it just to get the bunny ears right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now instead of going across diagonally at the corset, we're just going to be going straight down to the next hole to create a loop of lacing. And that is our first bunny ear. And I'm going to be pulling it not completely in, but leaving just a little bit of extra. When the corset is being tightened, that bunny ear will become longer. And repeating this on the other side. Going straight down to the next hole on the same side of the corset that the lacing is coming out from. And this time we're going in from the outside to the inside. If you're unsure about how long to leave your bunny ears, just leave a little extra because it's safer. And there we go. There's our second bunny ear all finished. So we have our two bunny ears ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to look at how to complete the lacing. So we're just going to go back to our double X lacing method. So this first X after the bunny ears is going to be on the underside of the corset. So we're going from the inside to the outside. And just make sure when you're tightening that you don't completely tighten up that bunny ear. We want to leave a little extra there. And now our second X will be on the outside of the corset. So we're going from the outside to the inside of the corset with our lacing. And so I'm just going through my last holes at the very bottom here. I just decided to go ahead and finish off with the same pattern which is going from the inside to the outside for this pass. And then I'm going to finish off with a bow. The reason I'm not finishing off in a bow is simply because I'm going to be taking out this lacing to record another video soon, but I would recommend generally tying it in a knot and possibly trimming off any excess if you have a lot of it. So now I'm just wiggling the corset around to get it as loose as possible before putting it on myself. I definitely recommend working with a very loose corset when you're putting it on for the first time. And there's the lacing all finished off and ready to be put on. Okay, so here I am just making sure it's nice and loose before I start putting it on myself. Just hooking up that busk. Don't worry if this takes you a long time. It's, it can be a very tricky thing to get the hang of and I find with every different corset, I need to kind of relearn it because every corset has a different feel to it. So now I'm just pulling it to the right level height wise on my body, making sure the waist is where my waist is. And now I'm just pulling on those bunny ears straight out. Now you can see that already my lacing gap is starting to have a V shape. So I'm just pulling up on those top X's there to pull the excess down to the bunny ears. And I'm actually grabbing hold of just the top part of the bunny ear now to make sure I'm only tightening the top part. And again, pulling down the excess into the X's and into the bunny ears. And I'm actually loosening up the hips a little bit because they're having a tendency to get a little too tight. Okay, so now that it's the right tightness, I'm just going ahead and tying my bunny ears in a bow behind me. You might want to have a mirror to look in as you're doing this. And there we go. If this is your first time wearing a corset or wearing a particular new corset, I definitely recommend lacing it on the loose side. And here is our finished laced up corset. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave a comment below and let me know how your own corset lacing antics go. I would love to hear from you. The accompanying blog post for this tutorial will be linked in the description with written details and photos, so definitely check that out if you're going to be trying this yourself. I also have an email newsletter that you can sign up for. All of my social media accounts are in the description as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more historical sewing videos. See you all soon! Bye! Thank you.